plans of stepping away from her job. I'm going to bring in again, hopefully it works here, Chris, uh, Chris, the writer of the story. So what was your biggest takeaway from Ruth? What did you learn from her? And by the way, you're the master of finding great stories like this. Oh, well, well, thank you very much. Um, it is definitely a team effort on, on our end. Um, one of my biggest takeaways was just her work ethic and her idea to take one day at a time. You know, we talked about, you know, what is the secret to living a long life and if she planned on living 100 years more and she just kept going back to, as you heard in that clip, that she just takes it one day at a time. And I think that's good advice for all of us. And what did she say her favorite McDonald's food was? She said that she likes the yogurt and the salad at McDonald's. Um, those are her two favorite things. Uh, but she says, you know, really anything is good um, at the restaurant, but the salad and the yogurt are her go-to items. And so maybe they're the secrets to uh, living to be 100 years or so. I know, really. So for people who aren't aware, you did a story, was that last week? about the 105-year-old who survived COVID-19. On her birthday, she got diagnosed with COVID-19, or I'm sorry, she got vaccinated on her birthday and had a very interesting diet herself, right? Yes, yes, she, uh, she had just gotten vaccinated the day before and tested positive on her birthday. Got it. So the timing there was just really, really uh, coincidental. But her diet was that she um, soaked raisins in gin, the alcohol gin, and she soaks them in a mason jar for nine uh, days and she only eats nine at a time. And she said it tastes like candy. So it's interesting to see that um, the sanitarians are coming up with these diets. You know, they're they're finding the keys to <laughs> living a long time. And so I, I have to take notes on this because you're right, this is the second interview in two weeks that I've interviewed um, someone of those ages. Yeah, women who are 105 and 100. Did you see any similarities between the two of these women who have made it to a very, very old age and still have so much charisma and energy? Absolutely. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that they're still, their minds are still sharp. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk to them like I talk to my friends or anybody else. And it's interesting because I um, asked both of them, how do you feel to be 100 or 105? And they both said that they don't feel any differently. You know, um, the first uh, woman who I talked with last week, she said she feels the same as she did when she was 50 years old. And so I thought that was really interesting um, to see that, you know, age is nothing but a number. You know, but, the, but these ladies, both of these ladies, um, they have all their wits about them. They are very humorous, um, very self-confident. You know, people love them. And McDonald's must be very, very happy for their wonderful employee right there. And she's going to continue to work there, keeping the mind sharp, right? Absolutely. The company absolutely adores her. And they, um, they, uh, her coworkers threw her a party because today is her birthday. And um, they threw her a party today. And, you know... Even with the pandemic, she has found reason to work at this restaurant. She used to greet customers before the pandemic and since the pandemic, she kind of helps helps out other employees. And so the company still see her as very valuable and she's very highly respected. And it goes both ways because she enjoys working for McDonald's as well. And did you say McDonald's is catering that party or what? Oh, they threw her a party uh, this morning. <laughs> yeah, her coworkers did. <laughs> so. But her favorite foods had to have been there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other takeaways, Chris, on this really lighthearted story? I love to hear these to kind of break up some of the hard news that we cover here. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's just their positivity mm -hmm. is just through the roof. I mean, like, it's been a hard year for all of us um, with the COVID-19 pandemic, but these two ladies have reason to smile. And um, you can feel that um, through the interviews that we uh, conduct with them. And so um, hopefully one day I'll get to meet them in person because I have a lot to learn. Yeah, but thank God for Zoom, right? <laughs> Absolutely, yes.
All right, Chris Williams, thank you so much for being here with us on News Now. You're bringing us all these really great stories. So we'll be speaking with you again very soon. No problem. And for those of you who missed it, we're going to play out that interview for you just one more time because you can't get enough smiles to end your Wednesday. All right, we'll talk to you again, Chris. Bye bye. How does it feel to be 100 years old? It feels totally different. <laughs> Not at all. And I mean it. <laughs> does the totally different. So what do you do at McDonald's? What do you do at McDonald's? I work in the dining room mostly, but I do all over now. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. But my job is in the dining room, but the dining room's closed, and I miss all those nice people. And I'm sure they miss you too. Come. I'm sure they miss you too. Uh, so I heard that you have no plans to retire. No way at all. I'm fully different. I don't feel like one. I don't even think of that. I just live back here. Oh, you live close by? I could walk to work if I wanted to. Take me 10 minutes. And uh, what do you like about working at McDonald's that kept you there for so long? They're nice to work for, and I'm lucky they keep me here at my age. I feel I'm the lucky one that they never, never, ever say anything about me quitting. They're very, very good here. It's the best. And what, and what do you like about the customers that come through there? They're all nice. I really mean it. The customers, they could be nicer. All of them. Tell them about Friday, sir. Friday, of Friday, we have a table down there. There's about six tables, and they all come in on Friday, Monday. They come in all week long, but Friday there's about 30 of them come in. And we, they all drink coffee and eat, and we sing. Tell what we sing. You tell them what we sing. Uh, da -da 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 We sing any song. Because there's four of us that sing because he lives on this side and the rest sings over there. Tell me. So we all we all sing you are some my sunshine there and we sing over here. Because he lives, I could face tomorrow. And we believe in that. Amen. So what's the secret to living a long life? I have no secret. I just live one day at a time. One day at a time. Did you ever think you'll be working at this age? I never think about nothing like that. I don't think about age. And I don't feel any different with a hundred. I don't feel any different. What were you doing before you worked at McDonald's? I worked at the AP until they closed. AP, you know what the AP was? The grocery store? Yeah. I worked there for 25 years. I had a lot of jobs. A lot of jobs. Tell us about yourself. Do you have children, a husband? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow two up? Children. I have two children, five grandkids, and five great grandkids. And when they were, when my two kids were little, I taught them the most important thing is love. We all, the whole family, we love each other. We love each other. If we have something to talk about, nobody can holler. We talk. Gotcha. I, have to ask you, I have to ask you, is your husband still living or did he, did he move? Uh, was, he died when he was 52 and I was 49. Gotcha. Good husband. Very good husband. Children all after their husband, after their dad. Very good husband. Gotcha. He had a heart attack. They, that run in the family. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. Miss. It's, it's okay, Miss Ruth. Um, and so, uh, why do you? Uh, how do you feel to be at the center of attention and getting the national attention that you're getting? I 
I can't, I can't believe it, that's all. I don't believe it. I can't believe all this is going on. But everybody's nice. Everybody, everybody inside and outside, they're all nice people. You, you feel at home with them. Yeah. They're just you, nice people. Yeah, I got everybody, you. Everybody's so nice. About the I'm telling you, and I never, never, never in the whole wide world expected this. Never. Do you plan to stick around for another 100 years? I go one day at a time. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus. I think one day at a time. <laughs> That's awesome, Miss Ruth. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Uh, it's a beautiful day. Look, at the, we could have had a nicer day than we have today. Look, a week or so ago, so much so. Everything went good with us. All these people came. My whole family came. Everybody's happy. Yes. Everybody's happy. This is a nice place to work. And the... Yeah, what's your favorite? What's do you ever? Eat, what's your favorite thing to eat at McDonald's? Dan, what? Maybe famous what? To eat, to eat at McDonald's. Oh, everything's good here. But I like your salads. I like your yogurts. I like those salads. Everything is good, no matter what you eat. It's good. It's a great story. I mean, you can't get enough of that. Well, we're going to head back to the House floor right now as voting is underway. We'll take a look here. And then at the top of the hour, we're going to head into some of those top stories from the day, including Governor Cuomo, his remarks at a press briefing this morning.